Hi everybody. Today I'm making sodium hydroxide. First what I did was I took uh, about a quarter of a cup of salt, just ordinary table cooking salt. It's uh, one fourth of a cup. And I put that in a bottle. This plastic bottle right here. NaCl and then in this bottle I just have regular water H2O for my power supply the green represents the negative and the negative goes to the water and the red is connected to that jumper in the middle and that goes to the top Or it is connected to a piece of lead. Carbon, an inert metal. So inside of this chamber, with the salt, we have a chemical reaction occurring. on that rod. You can see all those bubbles on the sodium side. That's chlorine gas. It's very dangerous, so be careful. That's why I have it once the pressure builds up that it is releasing it into some water and diffusing it under that water, which whenever chlorine gas is released in water, it creates a reaction where it creates hydrochloric acid and hypochloric acid as well as a chlorine mixture and over here is where I'm going to extract the sodium hydroxide from the pure water side it's going to be attached to the negative lead of that carbon pencil fiber and it's going to pull it through the salt mixture through this little tube in the middle that I have right there connected through a little piece of plastic a little bit thicker than a straw I used that I found and uh, stuff a little piece of cotton or a little filter in there so that there is some resistance I have on this side if you can see those bubbles that is hydrogen oxygen being produced. About a 70% hydrogen, 30% oxygen mixture being created right there. And I had just the cap twisted a little bit, bending that up into the atmosphere. No big deal. Over here on the other hand, you want to capture that chlorine and uh, you don't want to breathe that in because it can be very toxic. And work in a well ventilated area. See the chlorine bubbles on my lead pencil rod in there? And the hydrogen oxygen fuel being produced over here, which is gonna turn this through electrolysis into sodium hydroxide. How to turn salt into lye for making things, experiments. Mine's gonna be used as an electrolyte in a hydrogen fuel cell I'm designing. Well, if you like the video, it means a lot if you like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.